So guys, treble winners, I'm actually so happy for you. To start this kind of chat, we're gonna have like a little bit of a, a quiz just on like top threes. Okay. So first one we're gonna go for, all time Premier League front three, all time. We're gonna go quite quick fire. <laughs> <laughs> on me, I'll say one. Oh, good one. I'm putting Rooney in there. Aguero. Aguero, good choice. Right, three best traits about each other. So Carl, you can go first. John's three best friends. <laughs> That's a hard one off the top of your head, isn't it? Lovable. Lovable. <laughs> Likeable. <laughs> Another L. Uh, laughable. Okay, yeah, 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 like love that. It. yeah, I like, like that. <laughs> John on Kyle. Lovable, I'll yeah. go. Yeah. A winner. Happy. Right, easy one. Three best ice cream flavours. Mint chocolate chip. Oh, no. Yeah, I like that. Vanilla standard, yeah. when you say. Uh, I'm, I'm going salted caramel. Right. I'd say raspberry ripple. Oh, got four. What we're settling on? Get rid of one. Take vanilla out then, it's a bit of a given. Yeah. Right, three most played songs at the after party, after the treble. Oh, my God. oh um, what in your head? Oh, what's the one that Jack always plays? The Weekend in Paradise. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, that's that's that one. Yeah. yeah. He kept on playing the Bernardo Silva one. Yeah. yeah. We win it in Istanbul. I say in the dressing room, it's always uh, an oasis. An oasis, an oasis, yeah. go put them in, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's a good three. Right, three things that you still want to achieve as players. I'd love to achieve something with England, I think. With the group of lads and the manager that we've got, I think it's, you know, it's on the horizon, but we need to get over that, you know, a few hurdles that we keep, you know, falling short of in, in tournaments. For me, it's these next ones that we've, kind of open the door to after winning the Champions League, World Club, World Cup. In the England squad now, you've got to cuddle someone, marry someone, avoid someone. Cuddle Bakayo, because he's, he's just so happy, isn't he? Avoid someone, trips. That's harsh. It's not. He came for me on, a, on an interview. Did it? Yeah. Oh, trips Getting then. them back. Yeah, trips then, yeah, definitely. Trip. Trips. And I'd marry John. There we go. No, oh, that's a good choice. Right, okay, last one. Your favourite starter, main and pudding. This is going to be a mismatch, but like um, Bruchette. Yeah, I hate yeah. tomatoes. Do you? I stand tomatoes. Do you like one? Yeah, right, mm. but he's gone, so I'll go mine spaghetti bolognese for me. Yeah. yeah. Sticky toffee pudding. Oh. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> right, so first of all, the treble. Congratulations, honestly. I think everybody is buzzing for you. Thank you. Um, has it sunk in? No. No. It really hasn't. I like, I just, uh, I like get flashbacks and little bits from it, but yeah, when I think like I've, we've won it, it, it doesn't seem real. Yeah. No, really for me, no, for me, I think obviously we enjoyed the celebrations and, you know, we, it was a hard season with the World Cup and everything, and I think it was, you know, right that we enjoyed it as a team. But um, obviously, as soon as that finished, we're back into here. So yeah. it probably hasn't really sunk in. We haven't really seen the outside world. We've mm -hmm. just been, you know, Champions League, then straight into the England camp. So listen, um, it's a great achievement what we've all managed to do. But probably over the summer, we'll probably sink in and yeah. realise actually what we have achieved in football, which I've been done, you know, yeah. since 1999. Yeah. And John, when you look back on this season, like, is there any moments, obviously that final, the win, but is there any moments that really stick out for you in your memory? Um, probably the start, I thought we, we were all so nervous. Yeah. Um, then Eddie save at the end, and then do you know what? Just after seeing the the whole stadium, and uh, I don't know, I've just got like a vision of or an image in my head of the, all the fans, the full stadium, um, yeah, and then kissing the trophy when we're walking past it. <laughs> You'd get, marry the trophy. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And obviously, it's the Kyle. It's the pinnacle of anybody's football and career, but. Does it motivate you to just want more and more? I think it has to. I think with what we've achieved over the last six years of me being at City, um, you know, I'd never dreamed of achieving 
you know, near as much as this. I'd have been happy with one Premier League and if I'd have been lucky to play in a Champions League final, I'd have took that. Um, but we, we've managed to do that and more. So it has to. This is the bar that we've set over the last number of years and, you know, it's full credit to the lads for, you know, sticking in it season in, season out, being in all competitions um, and showing the professionalism and the hunger to achieve more you know, and, and want more, and that's the most important thing. Yeah, and John, we've kind of seen a bit of a different role from you this season. By the way, I've been completely in awe of your performances. Oh. <laughs> and you know the detail, like you get at Manchester City, it's in the men, it's in the women's, it's in the yeah. academy as well, and to learn the detail sometime in your own position is so difficult. Yeah. So how have you found that transition in uh, playing in midfield? Um. I wouldn't say easy, um, but like after after two three games in there, you, you you know your roles and responsibilities. I think, and then it's about um, you know trying to express yourself, and I don't know. The manager just gets a, you know his words across to you and what he wants from you so well, and everyone knows the roles and like walks can like back me up where anyone can play in any position really because. I don't know how we train it and how um, it's explained. It's just so it's so well drilled. Yeah. Um, you know, it's been a big learning curve for me, 100%. But I've absolutely loved it as well. Yeah. You know? And in that final, I felt like because I felt like watching you earlier on, you kind of adding a number and you're next to Rodri. But in that final, I seen you even in like the ten position. Yeah. Was that part of the plan, or were you just like, "I've nailed this"? No, it was. It... Midfield, I'm joining <laughs> in now. <laughs> it was part of the plan, and um, I think I played like as a as an eight, as a two eights um, in in the second half of the game during the season. Yeah. Um, just because of how the manager saw us, you know, um, breaking down their system, or I think we, it was a five in that game as well. Um, and then we trained it a few times and uh, before the final. And um, you know, we didn't know the team by then, but yeah, it was just kind of playing with a few different things. And um, yeah, to play a number eight was strange, but I, I enjoyed it. I'm, I, it makes it easier when you win as well. Yeah. Yeah. There's some moments you've got like three players around you and you're just skipping out of them in the Champions oh, League. Final. So you sure. look like you've played there all your life. <laughs> and then um, Kyle, I just wanted to touch on because I think your consistency is so good. Literally put you up against anyone and they're not getting past you. I think sometimes people don't talk about it enough because it's like them performances are just expected of you. Is that a little bit frustrating sometimes or are you kind no, of like... I, for, for me um, and probably John as well, that I'm not really here for the, the plaudits. Yeah. I'm here just to win. Like if, you know, Jack, Phil, Riyad, Erling, or even England, Harry, Bakayo, Rashi, they go and get the plaudits. That's, you know, they're, they're, they've got the hardest job in keeping, you know, putting the ball in the back of the net, sorry. So for me, it's, I take it personal. I kind of take it personal that the lads will probably get on me if he puts one through my legs or skins yeah. me and says, oh, he beat you. So, um, I think when you're coming up against these great players, that's what you want to be involved in and that's what you want to put yourself up against. So to say that I've played against, you know, probably a few now and done, you know, okay. Yeah. Um, More than okay. okay. More than okay. <laughs> yeah, I've done all right. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm happy with that and, yeah. you know, it's something that I can look back on. And you're still the fastest player in the England squad, right? Yeah, I think I was in the league this year, so not bad. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. 33, it's not bad, is it? Youngsters, yeah. not bad. Nah. Um, and just touching on, obviously, that Champions League final, can you give us a, a little bit of an insight into the after party? Is Jack OK? Yeah, he's good. He's good. Yeah, no. It was unbelievable, to be fair. Yeah. Um, straight after, uh, we went back to the, our hotel and there was a like a... Um, like a party after party there, which was went on until I think I had two hours sleep, but literally everyone was there, you know, yeah. uh, staff, um, the sun was rising up. Um, just like little things like that was incredible yeah. that everyone was there, like everyone's families as well. Um, and then, yeah, we decided to kind of carry it on when we got back to England, which was, I think it was right to be fair, because we, it's something that might never, well, yeah. I hope it happens again for us, but it might never happen again. And we had two 
you know, live it like it was the last time. So, yeah, I honestly, I thought it was best. Yeah, I, I best just time. feel as well that it's not just us lads that go for a season. Mm -hmm. It's our families as well. Yeah. You know, it's the backroom staff, it's the managing staff, and just as much as we're at training away from our families, they are as well. So for all, all of us to be together to celebrate with the loved ones, um, I think it's important. I think that you have to do that. Uh, and you have to show your appreciation and to have a, you know, one, two, three, twenty beers yeah. afterwards, <laughs> after winning, you know, the Champions League final. I think that's the right time to do it. Yeah, and I think that's a good point. So I remember when we won the Euros and you go out and you have a drink yeah. and people are constantly like, you're meant to be role models, mm. athletes. But I think obviously that sacrifice, it's the best job in the world. But yeah. as you say, the family time and stuff like that, you are away from them. Like, how important do you think it is to kind of still be human as well and help remember them moments so that you're motivated to go on and win yeah. more? Yeah, you've summed it up there. I think I think uh, we don't get seen as human sometimes in, and we're always trying to be perfect and, and set a, a good example. But within those moments, I think you've got to let your hair down and and, um, and, let, and let people see what... what uh, what we're doing and, and what makes us happy and how we should celebrate things and um, yeah I think it's I think it's good that that side of it as well where we can like for me I don't drink dr th through the season so that's my yeah. time to um, promise the lads that I'll drink and you know w we always enjoy it when we when we've won things in the past yeah. we've always made there's it. A, there's a fine line isn't there there's yeah. a fine line but I just feel that you know we are human at yeah. the end of the day and we've all come from backgrounds whether that's struggling or privilege that um, we're allowed to drink and we're allowed to enjoy ourselves because you know for me we're doing the best job in the world and if you can't celebrate and let your hair down and enjoy the good moments then yeah. we might as well pack up and not even do it yeah <laughs> okay and looking ahead to next summer obviously you're here in your england kit how exciting would that be to, to go to the Euros and actually pick up another trophy for you, but an, an international trophy? Oh, it's, it'd be incredible. I, honestly, I, I think about uh, the summer where we um, lost the Champions League final and then lost a, a Euros final, and it was probably one of my difficult, most difficult moments in football. So I think it's got a bit of a special uh, meaning to us as as players now um, fighting to obviously qualify first and foremost and then um, yeah trying to get over that line the next time yeah. I think the most important thing now is, is is qualifying because we've seen so many big teams that didn't go to the World Cup after having strong campaigns in the you know previous tournaments and and that's something that we're proud of that we've always been consistent and, and being there and yeah. you know pushing for the next thing so yeah um, Definitely excited, and I think we've uh, we've got a great chance of getting the job done together. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried for England because we've got obviously a lot of defenders now wanting to play in midfield. <laughs> so do you think we're going to have any defenders left at the back? Obviously, seeing Trent <laughs> operating in that role, we know you can do it. Yeah. Um, are you still as Walks can do it as well. Yeah. Get, he can get I'm in there. I'm all right behind <laughs> you. Just you, you start playing with the ball. I'm all right. No, listen, it, it's good to have some some versatility in the in the group. Obviously. The manager knows that he can rely on people in different positions. Um, you know, even whether that's you know Trips plays right back and he can play left back for England. Yeah. I think it's good that we've got that the options. I think it gives the manager a good problem. Mm -hmm. um, but it's about the team. I always say that it's about the team and the main the main focus is getting the the, the country to a Euros. And like I said in interviews before the Champions League final, I think a lot of teams get nearly there. Yeah. and then go on and win it. Uh, obviously, we lost to Chelsea in Porto and then we've gone and won it the next time. So, fingers crossed that we can, you know, replicate that and, you know, we've lost to Italy and go on and win it now. Yeah, and hopefully after the game on Monday, you're going to get a very well-deserved break. Um, is there a holiday planned, family holiday? Are you jetting out anywhere nice? Yeah, straight away. <laughs> um, all the family and, yeah, I can't, it'll be nice, I think. Once the once the game's finished, then you know you can fully relax and yeah. um, take the as much time as we can. You know, try and enjoy as much of it. Um, I hope the time goes slow, but it won't. <laughs> yeah. um, 
but yeah, no, I think after I don't even know how many games we played this this season with the World Cup as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been it's been thick and fast for us every three days, so definitely can't wait to put my feet up. And after probably seeing each other nearly every day for the last year, will you catch up in that time, or will it be I'll just see you in pre-season? Don't know actually. I don't know if if we. <laughs> We will always be on the group chat. The lads yeah. are always yeah. on the group chat talking and you know putting things in. So um, when the lads are getting married, um, so I know a few of us are going yeah. uh, to that to, to celebrate that. So we'll be catching up again. Um, and it's just about listen, relax, put your feet up, take your mind off football for a little bit, and then it's back on the treadmills and getting ready for pre-season. Yeah. Oh, right. No. So John, you've been called the Barnsley Beckenbauer. Yeah. Okay. So, Carl, we need to come up with one for you. The Sheffield. Anything you can think of at the top of your head? Hmm. That fire's irritating me, I tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> no, just Sheffield Steel. Sheffield Steel. Sheffield Steel. I like that one. Yeah. I also think you shift through the gears pretty quickly, so I was going to go the Sheffield Shifter. Oh, lovely. You like it? I like that. Oh. Cool. I like it. <laughs> can I just say, John? Yeah. Stones has the same amount of dribbles oh, as Messi wow. in a Champions League final. Wow. That is, many people can say that, can they? That is actually amazing. <laughs> you and Messi. <laughs> so. I think that is definitely say, no. a mic drop yeah. moment. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Look, this on, one. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, thanks, lads. Cheers. Thank you. Well, your wash bag looks all right. Which one? <laughs> Which one do you think's mine? The like makeup case. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. It's got a mirror. Thank you. Thanks so much.